pull out the knife and then stab him many times in the throat. No. And she was still alive. By his own admission, Paul Charles Denyer is a sadistic killer. At 21 years of age, he brutally slaughtered three young women and abducted a fourth woman in the Frankston region, southeast of Melbourne. You, can you tell me why you attacked her on that night, on this night? What led to it? Just, just said, just had a feeling myself. With what sort of feeling? Can you possibly describe it? Where, where you had this feeling? Just wanted. Kill. It was a killing spree that horrified the country and caused an outcry for justice. Just over a year ago, he was sentenced to life imprisonment with no parole. I thought that it meant life never ever to be released. We were happy with the full sentence that he got, the maximum under the law. Poor Charles Denyer. But eight months ago, Paul Denyer successfully appealed against the sentence that would never see him released. He was granted a 30-year minimum. The victim's families said it was not enough. They went public with their grief, and the community bared its outrage. Finally, the Director of Public Prosecutions agreed to take the rare step of appealing to the High Court to quash the minimum. Why isn't 30 years enough? Paul Denyer will be... 51 years old and um, I have an obligation to speak out today because I have young nieces and nephews growing up and I want them to live in a safe environment. 30 years time I'll be too old to fight the cause. Bernadette Norton's 17-year-old niece was Paul Denyer's third and final victim. It was evidence from her murder that finally helped police confront her killer. We have a life sentence also, never ever to be released. The day doesn't go by that we don't feel the sadness and loss. Natalie Russell was on her way home from school when she was grabbed by Denyer. He cut her throat, strangled and stabbed her repeatedly. I just want to see justice done. Paul Webster and his wife have no children of their own. When their niece, Elizabeth Stevens, came to live with them, she was welcomed with open arms. The 18-year-old shared her uncle's love of motorbikes, but their time together was short-lived. In June 1993, Liz was murdered by Paul Denyer. Well, we had the right to, to a hope that our niece would go on to fulfil her dreams and join the army as, as she was wanting to do. I mean, we had that hope. We had that right. I mean, he took those rights away, so he shouldn't have any rights left at all. In a surprising twist, it's not only the victim's families that want Paul Denyer to remain forever behind bars. Researching a soon-to-be-released book on the murders, author Vicky Petratus spoke with Denyer's family. The family are really scared that he'll ever be let out. I think they felt that they were fooled by him for 21 years that they knew him, and they certainly had no idea that, uh, that he had these murderous inclinations. And I think that if they can be fooled for that long, and they knew him best, um, they're terrified that he can fool a parole board in 30 years' time. Denya has claimed he wants to rehabilitate himself, and a minimum sentence would provide hope for the future. Oh, I think he has been hoping greatly that he'd be given the chance. Uh, but whether he deserves it, it's not for me to comment. What we did feel was that Paul Denya uh, was always ready to kill when the opportunity presented itself. Former Detective Inspector Claude Minasini is a specialist in behavioural science. Trained at the FBI Academy in Virginia, he was called in to profile the then unknown killer haunting Frankston Street. I believe he uh, was getting a lot of satisfaction, a lot of personal satisfaction. Uh, certain um, things that he did to the victims. Now a private consultant, Claude Minasini has interviewed several serial killers, 
including cannibal Jeffrey Dahmer. He has little faith in their rehabilitation. We can't uh, guarantee that he won't uh, re-offend. And I think uh, society, because of the devastating crimes he's committed, has a, has a right to a guarantee. And at the moment, I don't see any other guarantee than to keep him where he is. The High Court refused to allow Paul Denyer's minimum sentence to be challenged. In just under 30 years' time, it will be up to another generation to decide whether he'll be freed. Sitting in court for the decision, Natalie Russell's family was devastated. I hope in 30 years' time that the parole board that will be sitting will know about the terror that Paul Charles Denyer called the Frankston area. And I hope that no family will ever suffer what our family has gone through.